just as we can have pointer to a normal variable we can also have a pointer to a class member so how to create a pointer to a class member so the syntax for declaration is data type then class name scope resolution operator and then pointer name okay so for example if a class is there class x y z and it has a data member a okay and you want to create a pointer to a then what you will write first of all you will write the data type because this is an integer so the data type of pointer must match with the data type of variable therefore the data type of the pointer will be int and then class name scope resolution operator class name is xyz okay so therefore xyz here and then scope resolution operator and then you want to create pointer to a so pointer means you must write asterisk and then name of the pointer so in this way i have created a pointer whose name is p and here it is telling us that this is a pointer and what this is telling us it is telling us that this is a pointer to a class member which class xyz class and what is the data type of this pointer the data type of this pointer is an integer okay so this is how you can declare a pointer to a class member and then how you will assign some value to this pointer variable some value means pointer variable will uh, will hold the address of another variable so how you will assign the address of a class member to this pointer so the syntax for that is pointer name so name of the pointer is here p is equal to it will hold the address of suppose a then because it wants the address we will write address of operator and then class name xyz scope resolution operator and that data member okay so it means it is holding the address of class xyz's a okay and you can also combine both declaration and assignment in a single statement so it is data type that is int then class name what is the name of the class xyz then scope resolution operator then asterisk p is equal to address of xyz scope resolution operator a okay so this is how you can create a pointer to a class member now you have created a pointer to a data member now how to access that data member using the pointer so the syntax is object name then dot operator then asterisk then pointer the name of the pointer so in the previous example we created a class xyz and suppose this class contains data member a among other things and in the main you created a pointer to this member a okay so we have seen how to create a pointer to this member it is the data type and then the name of the class class name is xyz and scope resolution operator then this is a pointer is equal to address of xyz scope resolution a okay so this is how we can create pointer to data member a and then suppose we created an object of class xyz x now we want to access a one option is x dot a but we want to access a through this pointer variable p then we will write x dot and then star p okay so which is the syntax given here now 
what will happen if instead of using this this kind of object you are using a pointer to an object suppose x y z star y is equal to new x y z now this is a pointer to an object so when you use pointer to an object and you want to access a one option is to use this pointer name then arrow operator then member name and the second option is when you use you want to use this pointer variable then you will write this pointer name then arrow operator then star p okay so this is the syntax which is given here okay and you can change the value and behavior of these pointers at runtime okay so now suppose it also contains this class also contains another variable star int b okay so initially it is pointing to a and here suppose you make it this uh, you change this pointer to point to b okay so we are changing the addresses which will be stored in p here p will contain the address of a here p will contain the address of b and here when you write x dot star p because it is containing the address of a it will give you the value of a and here when you write star p now because p is pointing to b it will, will give the value of b so using the same statement here also we are accessing star p here also we are accessing star p the statement is same but the behavior will be different here it will give you the value of a here it will give give you the value of b okay so this means you can point it to other member functions or member variables and here that uh, this is an important restriction on using this pointers to data members and what it is saying it is saying that in order to have pointer to a data member or a member function you need to make them public so we can use we can make a pointer to point to a data member only if this data member is public okay we cannot use a pointer to a private member or a protected member 